right, so for the task that we're going to be showing you today, it's going to be called chemical part one. It's a skier task. And the objective of this task is to obtain the secure folder in the train car, which is located right here between smoke and the container building. So it's a good point of reference. What you want to hope for is you want to hope for a really good spawn point to be close to this location. So before you start your task, um, one thing you're going to need is the dorm 220 key. Um, you can actually barter this um, for one buckwheat, one aqua peeps, and five medicines from level two therapists. Or if you have flea market unlocked already, you can honestly just buy the key. And then this is the secure folder 13 that you're going to be pulling out of the train cart. And then you actually have to extract with this and hand it in as soon as you uh, extract to complete the task. So I know we said we hope for a uh, decent spawn. Uh, somewhere close to the objective. The train cart is right here between ZB12 and ZB11. So in this case, for this raid, we actually spawned in at Old Gas. So what we did is we actually had to go all the way through Warehouse 5, cut through the uh, depot building, come out by the train tracks, run up into the cart, find the folder, and then backtrack everything that we just did and... Even though the area was clear when we came across, doesn't mean it's going to be clear on the way back. So we actually ran to a couple of scavs here, came out the gate here, went all the way around Fortress, Crack House, and finally extracted at RUAF Roadblock. So the best thing to do is when you're in these raids uh, to make everything worthwhile because every raid matters. Even if you die, it's still a learning experience. But when you're going into every single raid, you always want to make sure you have a clear objective in mind. If you're not going for PvP or scav kills and you're going to find a task item that you need, get in and then get out. So it's a lot easier to get sidetracked when you have like a lot of different things going on. You're not really sure what you want to do in raid, but that's why I say have a clear objective in mind so that way you can get in, get what you need, and get out. Because at the end of the day, this game is all about surviving your raids. All right, so we have our spawn location. We are at Old Gas Station, and we're going to start heading over to where the objective is at that train car. So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to cross under this bridge. We're going to hit Warehouse 5, clear it out, and we're going to make our way to the next building, which is the depot building. And then once we clear that out, we're going to push out and go to the location where we have to secure that folder. So we hear shots to the left. So what we're going to do is we're going to take cover in the building. We're going to clear it. As soon as we clear it, we're making sure that we clear our corners prior to committing to pushing outside. You always want to clear your angles before committing to them. So we hear a shot. Not sure if that's us. So what we're going to do is we're going to take cover in this building. The shot sounded like it came from new gas. So we hear a scav outside, not sure if he's outside the building, up top, or if he's outside the fence. So we're gonna continue to clear this building, make sure nobody's trailing us. We're gonna peek outside, we're gonna check our flanks. Don't hear anything, so we should be good to go. So now that we deem that the building is safe and nobody's trailing us, we're going to jump off. We're going to look over the fence so that way we can get a little bit more information. So we don't hear anybody on the other side of the fence, but we're going to pre pain kill anyway, just in case somebody surprises us. The reason why you pre pain kill is because if you get shot in the legs in this game, you're pretty much stuck walking. So we don't want to. We don't want to restrict our movement, so we're always going to pre-pain kill before we get into a fight. So we see a scav up here. Not sure if he's shooting at us initially, but he actually, in fact, was shooting at us. So we're actually not going to take this fight head on because the scav AI has been buffed so much in this game. Once they see you, they'll lock onto you. And the longer they don't see you, the more aggro they'll draw on you and their aim gets more precise. So we're going to listen, make sure there's nobody else going to creep up on us. So we take this fight 
on our grounds. Once I'm able to actually pinpoint his location, we can take him out. Still listening, we're leaning and moving at the same time. So that way we can see more of the map and gather more information as we get ready to push up to the crane cart. So we're gonna free look left, make sure nobody is there. See another scab here. We hit fire and take him out. So now we're in the train cart. What we're gonna do is we're going to reload, take some time to listen and pack some mags. So the secure folder is actually located here in the corner and you can see the white dot on the screen. That's indicating that there is something there. So we pick it up and we got the subtask completed. Now we're actually gonna push out to the area we just cleared. So that way we can like get closer to extract. Constantly checking around, make sure nobody's gonna pop up on us. So we see a scav and we hear him. We do is take a pop shot at him. He's gonna run and we take him out. We hear another scav to the left, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump from the open and get into the closest cover. Constantly checking our surroundings, make sure there's no players around. Because we are making a, a quite a bit of noise right now. One thing we're doing is we're getting a quick peek on Fortress without exposing ourselves too much to see if there's any players in here because between Fortress, the area we just came from and Crack House, those are very hot PVP zones. And our main objective is to get the folder and extract. So we're not actually looking for any sort of PVP right now. We are straight tasking so that way we can progress. So we're coming up on another PVP hot zone. This right here is what we call crack house. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop here, take a second, and we're going to pre pain kill to see if we hear anybody in this house. And again, the reason why we're pre pain killing is so that way we're not surprised when we get shot. And if we get shot in the legs, we still have that movement and we're still able to run. We don't hear anybody, so we're pushing straight to extract. So now we're getting ready to extract out of here. This is our UAF roadblock. We hear a scab to the right. It's not really worth it at this point because we're so close and we already have a task item. 
So we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and extract and we're gonna turn that quest in. We picked up a couple scab kills along the way and we turn it in, simple as that.